How can I fill my apartment with 100,000 Skittles without actually doing it? It's called a visual lie. Not chill. <laughs> okay, guys, this is what we need. Uh, Skittles, ooh la la, look at this, uh, look at this beautiful. And obviously this is not enough. I have here this two-sided pick. that I will use it to connect the Skittles and this glue just in case this thing, uh, the tape doesn't work. I need this uh, thing here. I don't know what is, what is it called in English. Beef cake. <laughs> An attractive man with well-developed muscles. That's definitely not a beef cake, wait. <laughs> okay, I think it's called oil course. And obviously, as I said, we need more Skittles. So I have here some more packages. Unfortunately, in our stores, we don't have the big ones. You know, we only have, this is the biggest one that I can get. So that's why we'll have to buy tons of them. Pro I'm probably gonna be broke at the end of this video, but at least you will enjoy it. the most satisfying moment we're going to peel off the second side of the tape uh... it's working <laughs> So guys, as you can see, we are done. Look at this. To be the main model in the pool of Skittles, I called my friend Ulkar and she volunteered to help me. Okay, but honestly, I just told her that I will have a big party at my house. I didn't tell her that she will have to be a part of my mad experiment. So yeah, she was really surprised when she came. Then there was this guy who was constantly asking, do I look good, do I look good? And I was like, bro, why do you even care? You will not even be in the image. Do you understand that I will crop you out? Also, at one point, I thought maybe I should be the model for this artwork. But everyone said that I look like a serial killer, so no. So anyway, as you can see, I had to take an image with this layer of Skittles from different angles so that I could combine them later in Photoshop. So this was the image that I chose and uh, let's get a few things straight here. First of all, I don't like this image, but it was the best one I could choose. The composition here really <laughs> The curtains, it looks horrible. This whole thing is just... And also the colors, this orange, stupid color, you know, it's affecting the whole image. Now everything looks orangey. I was so busy thinking about the skittles that I forgot about the composition and colors. Unfortunately, I, I will have to work with what I got. So first things first, I had to get rid of me and the other guy and then bringing all the other images that we made one by one into the scene and connecting it like a puzzle. <coughs> Everyone calm down, I don't have corona. And boom, as you can see. So all I had to do here is just connect all of the images that I made into one single image. Sometimes I have to use puppet tool. I can click and drag this however I want. Basically, you know, I can bend it and so on. Wait, someone is calling? Huh? Hello? Who is that? Oh, oh, yeah, oh yeah, of course I will do that, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm already doing it, okay, please. Please don't kill me, I'm already doing it. Darth Vader just called me and he told me that I should tell you about this amazing offer. If you go to learnfromfred.com, which is my website, there you can actually find dozens of classes that will help you to master Photoshop, how to create this artwork here, this artwork, this artwork, this, how to use Photoshop, 3D features, how to create beautiful animations using Photoshop, and so much more. And in case, just in case you don't want to buy them one by one, but you want to get all of them together, you can just go to learnfromfred.com and here you can have a membership, which costs just $9 for your first month and you get access to all the classes. My personal help, you'll be able to create over 60 artworks and animations. This is some of the cool artworks that my students have created after the classes. I mean, just look at them. Some of them are even better than my own artworks. Just pause this video, go to the website, click start now, and start enjoying a world of Photoshop magic. And that's way they will not touch you, I promise. Okay, I cannot promise that actually.
So I hated the colors here and I thought what colors could make sense and I thought green would be perfect because Skittle has two colors basically pink and green. I decided to start coloring everything in a beautiful green color as you can see and voila. I just used a solid green color, put it on hue, blending mode and the wall goes from yellow to green like that. Also the Skittles didn't look that tasty so I decided to add to them a little bit of a pinky color. Next step was to start enhancing everything. So uh, for example I started by adding some uh, Skittles here on the back of the TV. Uh, also other places that I had the Skittles were around her just to make her look like she's really inside it and uh, also added some Skittles here in the back as well. Added some shadows here behind the hands and the last step was to add a little bit of smoke. I thought it's gonna look cool with the smoke. The way I did it is actually very very simple. I have these weird smoke brushes here that I can just boom 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 and create a smoke and uh, that's what I did in order to create this beautiful uh, green and uh, white smoke. As a final result, I got here a few images. First of all, I did something with blue walls. Then I did something with a little bit more smoke. I did it without the yellow smoke and also I did it with maximum vibrance. But I feel like I really like this one, it's more simplistic. I also like just the cut version of her. And obviously it's not perfect, but if we take into account what we actually had, I think it looks good. But there is more. I wasn't completely happy with the end result, so I decided to give it another try and create a so-called a dark mud with some beautiful violet and neon colors. Also, if you try to imagine how it would look in a Skittles ad, I think actually both of the versions look a pretty cool, 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 cool. So there are a few things that we learned from this experiment. Number one, this image is not even close to being as good as other artworks that I usually create in Photoshop. But number two, the technique really works. It gives you a good level of realism. So if I would do this again, I would definitely create something at least 10 times better because I wouldn't make the same mistakes. And number three, composition and colors are still the king, no matter how good the technical part is. I will be making more like this in-depth videos from the idea to process and to finishing the image. If you're interested in that, make sure to subscribe and turn on your bell notifications. My dear friends, you just check out learnfromfred.com for premium Photoshop classes. Love you. Bye-bye.